Hi, my name is Isaac Shonablade. I'm a jeweler from the Northern Cheyenne tribe, and today I'm gonna walk you through how I make a beaded wood ring. So step one is to cut out the ring core. I do this with my CNC machine. I then bring it over to my lathe, and I throw it onto a ring mandrel that I handmade. It just helps keep the ring in place. And then that's when I start cutting out the inlay portion, the little groove where all the beads will fit into nicely. And so the next step is to add the beads. I have my beads laid out with my needle and my thread, and I thread the beads together uh, to create a line of three beads by like, 51 beads long and I sew the beads into the groove that I just created. This past year and a half I've been a little bit more intentional on trying to engage a little bit more in my culture and through that uh, I decided to start learning how to bead which is a very significant portion of native culture. It is common for beaders to learn from their parents or their grandparents and to be passed down from generation. I did not have that opportunity. I realized that there's a lot of natives who are in the same boat as I am. And so that finally gave me confidence in actually stepping out and learning how to bead. After the beads are added to the ring, I then vacuum out the beads to make sure that there's no sawdust or any dust inside the beads. And then I will start the gluing process. And I use a CA glue, which is essentially a super glue. And I layer it onto the beads until the beads are significantly covered. After the gluing process, we then go into using our lathing tools again to shave down the outside and make the outside uniform and even all the way around. I'll go down to as far as I can uh, before hitting the beads. So there's still enough layer over the beads that they are protected. We need then to round out the edges. So we use our lathing tools, cut in the edges, and then round them out. We then use our CA glue again, and we'll use paper towels, let the ring spin, and add just a little bit of the CA glue to the outside. And I'll do that 20 or so times to create a nice thick layer around the ring and then we'll sand it down after that. We then go and use our micro mesh sandpaper and they range from 1200 grit all the way up to 12,000 grit and that 12,000 is what's going to give it the shine at the end. We are now going to finish off cutting out the edges of the ring and make sure they're nice and even. And then we'll start the sanding process of the edges and the inside. We will then go on to finishing the inside with the CA glue. Um, and then we'll do a little bit of sanding with our mesh sandpaper. After I've sanded down the inside of the ring and the edges, I just throw it onto my ring sizer to make sure that the ring is the size that I need it to be. The ring is pretty much done after that. I have absolutely loved making my beaded rings and just the whole beading process. And one day I hope to take my beading just a step further and create my own regalia. 